It's playoff time of the season. We'll get this qualifier underway. He strikes it long, it's deep. Is it too deep? No, it was a good kickoff, but Mikey Lewis caught it. But George King's going to be trapped inside his own 10, so the depth of that kick did cause Rover some problems. Amon tries to take on the tackle of Kane Lynette. Easier said than done. The big red machine wrapped him up again. Lammers kicked high. Walker and Senior are there. Walker claims it. And Jack Walker looks in the mood again, doesn't he? He's such a good returner of the ball. Senior. Pops up the offload. Rovers come again. Oh, what's the decision here? Well, Jack Smith seen something. Was it was the a shepherd or an obstruction? Hard to see, but it's given Lee great field position, hasn't it? The flags are raised and on the back of a confusing penalty, Rovers trail by two points to nil. Parcells looking over both shoulders, goes to the centre of the field in Minchella, Schneider spreads it, Rovers have got wheels in motion here, Kenny Dowell runs over the top of one lean man, the ball is stolen and it's a penalty to the Robins. I think. The I think it was because the man was hitting back play, in fairness. Elliot Minchella hit late. Penalty goes the way of Hulkingston Rovers. Fine. Parcel is at the play the ball. Shot bell. Jesse Sue offloads. It's back to Parcel. Rovers trying to barge the way over from close range, keeping that ball alive. Tom Opacek, Lee just inside the Rovers 20, Lamb trying to take on the last line of defence but Rovers make that tackle and Lee, Fuai Pape, his door have not stopped the offload, it's play on and now they've spilled it, good pressure in defence, forces the error on the Lee skipper Lamb for the evening. Brad Schneider applying the pressure there. Tries to explode through the two-man tackle. Rovers are a metre shy of halfway. The kick option is Mikey Lewis. He's got lots of height. Oh, and that's bounced. Chanley's going to have to play it. Oh, and Chanley's got out. Rovers will be disappointed that they didn't nail him. The interchanges change anything. I can see Sam Luckley stripped off for Rovers. Walker positioned himself well. He's got Senior with him if he wants him. Alex to take the tackle. Around 15 from halfway. Centre field. George King may be the man who leaves the field for Luckley. No, it's Jesse Sue, in fact, who comes over to the sideline. Kenny Dowell strides forward. There's set, is white clean. Mikey Lewis, one handed pickup. Good run, very direct. Told to get to his feet and play it. Parcel to Luckley, who's now into the action. He spun to the ground, but Rovers are making go forward look pretty easy in this set. Now it needs to go into the hands of the ball players. Here's one of those. Elliot Minchella. That's a high shot. Do Rovers take the two or do we build pressure? Big decision in a game of this magnitude. Well, that's answered the question. Brad Schneider will take the two on offer. So you see Joe Wardle's left the field for Lee as Schneider steps up to level it. The flags are raised. Rovers are on the board. They tie up the scoreboard at 2-2. Rovers just starting to get 
ahead in the physicality battle here, you feel. Good offload. Good offload again. Parcel has got support. Snyder! Brad Snyder! Oh, he went for the line. Lee got across and he's given a forward pass. I think he's given a forward pass, the referee. He was close to the action. Yeah, in fairness, possibly was. Parcel. Dummies and goes. It almost comes up for him again. He's left a man down in the ruck. Minchella finds Schneider. Schneider draws in. The scaps. Kenny Dowell turns it back inside to Lewis. Lewis goes for the line. Two men get there in the shape of Briscoe and Reynolds, but Rovers have opportunity still here. The ball finds the hands of Schneider. He moves it centre field to Minchella. Through the hands it goes. The support is Walker! Rovers are in! Jack Walker scores! Eight minutes to half time. Rovers have the opening score. They kept the ball alive. And bravely Jack Walker ducks his head and gets himself over. It's next to the uprights. Schneider should add on the two, but there's some concern for the try scorer here. Who has stayed down. 6-2, the conversion to come. Lee defenders there to deal with him skinny side Lewis goes high O'Brien with the tape beats the first chaser oh he's on his pocket picked Matty Parcel he'll take the tackle just short Ryan Hall can he go for the line yes Rovers have scored we're going to go upstairs, but that looks a try to me. A one-on-one -on -one steal by Parcel. And Ryan Hall has got it down, surely. The grounding looks good. But what a steal from Parcel. Nothing wrong with that. And Ryan Hall looks as though he's pushed Rovers into a 12 2 lead. Chris Kendall's having lots of looks. It was sent up as a try. Why is Chris Kendall having so many looks? Is he looking for a double movement or what? That's grounded. Here's the decision. got a bad feeling about this yeah. not now I haven't try awarded Brad Schneider places the ball on the kicking tee Rovers 
attacking from left to right as we look down from the Roger Millward stand. Oh, and they have knocked on! What a great start for Rovers. Gareth O'Brien, one of the most experienced men in the Leopard side. He's lost possession and Rovers have an attacking opportunity. The referee's in it. Oh, thought there was going to be a dangerous lift there. It's tackle five. Big gap. Try for Rovers. The big red machine, is it? Not sure who it is. Is it King? It could even be Luckley. I'll get there in the end. It's Jordy Sam. One thing I am certain about is Rovers lead 18 2. Just saw a big bald head going for the line. And Lee couldn't stop it. They're all offside. Oh, Sam Luckley doesn't care. Oh, great offload! Rovers are pouring forward. Schneider is the pass on. He dummies, goes into the 20. Sam Luckley slow getting back into the attacking line. Rovers are on the last. Lewis has hoisted one. Oh, good take from Charnley in fairness. So Rovers pinned back onto their own line now. Can they force a mistake from Lee? Great bodies on the line, defence that. It was a crash ball. Oh, they're going to give this. Well, they're, going, they're now going upstairs. I think Rovers are saying they lost it. He's gone try on the field. Did he lose possession in ground in it? Looked like Joe Miller, didn't it? And Rovers will be filthy at themselves at conceding one like that, if indeed it's given. Again, Chris Kendall's is having a lot of looks. I'd have saying that the Lee man obstructed. The Lee man, well, I think his eye Pape, looks as though he may have obstructed Rovers defenders. It was sent up as a try, and I think it's going to be given, but I think that's what Kendall was looking at. Obstruction given. No try. 18 to the score remains. Rovers just need to clear that rook and not allow Jack Smith to penalise them. Joe Mellor's probably been one of Lee's best players in this game, hasn't he? Now then, Gildart finds Charnley. He's got Tommy Opacek. He's got Jack Walker. He's got James Batchelor, who is the man who eventually makes the tackle. Lee fire it to centre field. Mellor takes them on up the middle. A couple of tackles remain. Have Rovers got the energy to repel the Leopards? Oh, Chandler's going to go in in the corner this time. Just under 24 remain. Lee have their first try of the game. This one will count. It's 18-6. A conversion to come.
made. Mella, the groove in it. To the wide outside, but Ryan Hall. Oh, he's done him one on one. Ryan Hall has got Briscoe chasing. Briscoe gets him on the 20, but Rovers have an opportunity now to kill Lee Hoff, do they? Lewis needs to come back inside. Penalty! <laughs> it's got to be two! It's got to be two! Ryan Hall steal. Couldn't get away from Briscoe, but the high shot on Mikey Lewis surely gives the Robins the opportunity to win this game. About 15 in, in front of the East Stand. Has Brad Schneider put Rovers into the semi-final? 20 points to six is the lead, with just over four minutes remaining. We're into the countdown, final 10 seconds. Jez Litton hammers the ball into the search line. The Lee Leopards players are down. The Rovers players are marching on into the semi-final. They will face either the Catalan Dragons or Wigan. All dependent on the result between St. Helens and Warrington tomorrow. But the season rumbles on. We live to fight another day.